A new genetic hope to cure diabetes has been discovered. Diabetes affects millions of people around the world. Happens when the body doesn't make enough of the hormone insulin or when you are very insulin resistant or both in most cases. Which keeps blood sugar levels you know, healthy when you have healthy insulin levels. Uh, yes, you need insulin. Some insulin is not the enemy. When it's too much, it's the problem, right? But when the body cannot use the insulin due to insulin resistance and insulin starts declining, then you get diabetes. When there aren't enough beta cells or when they don't work right, then there isn't enough insulin being made. And that is a problem. Have you downloaded the SugarMD app yet? If not, you are missing out on some great resources for managing your diabetes. Our team of experts offer free coaching via app texting so you can get answers to all of your diet and diabetes related questions. Beta cells actually talk to each other, just like us, so that insulin is released in a coordinated way. Here's the deal. Scientists from Max Planck Institute of Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics in Dresden, Germany, the Paul Langerhans Institute in Dresden, and the universities of Oulu, Finland, and Copenhagen, Denmark, have shown that the gene WNT4 in beta cells allows them to sense glucose and release hormone insulin, which helps other cells in the body to store glucose and use it, of course, right? And when you cannot store the glucose, glucose stays in your system, cause high blood sugars and all the complications we know. With these new ideas, actually it might be possible to make new beta cells to treat diabetes in the future. That's the coolest thing, right? This doesn't mean this gene can help reverse insulin resistance, but this study is exciting for those people who have problem making insulin, such as people with type 1 and a half diabetes, or people who are not necessarily insulin resistant or obese, but still have diabetes due to early beta cell death, or type 1 diabetics who have no insulin production at all. And type 2 diabetics also actually have diminished production of insulin as well because of beta cell failure, because of their pancreas is actively dying. From the time they are born, babies start to eat and turn food into energy, right? Many nutrients can be turned into glucose as well and sent to the bloodstream. So we have to have glucose in our blood and it has to be tightly regulated. Higher levels of blood sugar levels Tell the beta cells in your pancreas to release insulin, which lets blood sugar into the cells so it can be used and stored as energy. At different times in a person's life, though, the food sensing or glucose sensing beta cells change to adapt to different needs. In a recent study published in Nature Communications, found that this gene. WNT4 becomes active in these glucose sensing beta cells as they mature in early postnatal life, which means that after birth. So actually, just like our brains, our pancreatic beta cells mature as we get older. So that's why it's very important the childhood years of how your nutrition is and what your weight is. Let's find about, about how everything started about this research in 1990s. Dr. Button, who was a postdoctoral researcher at the time, talked with Seppo Veno, who is now a research unit leader at the University of Oulu, about the role of WNT4 in the development of the pancreas. So Seppo says, I remember when I worked with WNT4 in kidney development, and he says, we thought that this signal might actually play a role in the development of pancreas. But at that time, researchers did not have the right tools to take it to the next step. Over the next 20 years, 20 years later, the postdoctoral researcher, Dr. Katsumoto, in the lab of Dr. Button, was interested 
in finding out what role the gene WNT4 plays in pancreas development. In the meantime, Veno's lab in Olo had made improvements to their mouse models. Dr. Seppo Veno says, with all of these tools and grab and button research lab could actually now target WNT4 function in the development and function of the pancreas. There is an interesting talk between beta cells, Katsumoto says, about what they saw. They found that the gene WNT4 is turned on in the beta cells when the cells mature. When a cell starts to make WNT4, it stops making copies of itself and becomes more useful. They saw that beta cells make less insulin when there is less WNT4. The team found that even though beta cells could sense sugar in the blood, they responded to glucose by making less insulin in the absence of WNT4. Now, Anne Grappenbutton, who oversaw the study, says, when we saw that mice missing the gene WNT4 got diabetes, we knew we had found something important, but we didn't know how it worked, she says. We knew that this gene is a message sent from one cell to another. It was exciting to find out that beta cells in the pancreas can actually talk to each other and that this communication is the same in many animal species that it worked by changing the way beta cells metabolism works. But we still don't know if beta cells release WNT4 all the time or only in certain situations. They say that we want to find out more about this in the future by doing further studies. Now, Katsumoto says that the results also show that the beta cells can mature when WNT4 levels rise soon after birth. The next step is to figure out why WNT4 gets turned on as the cells get older. These results could support the idea of using WNT4 to speed up the maturation of replacement beta cells to treat diabetes. I saw this study and I found it interesting and wanted to share with you. But thank you for watching. I want to see you in the next video. So please be around and please comment in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.